Hello everyone, this is Marianne with Akashic Inspiration and today is Sunday, September 23rd, 2012 and this is our weekly reading of Healing Mother Earth and today I've been um, inclined to use the Sacred Geometry by Gengenos and uh, Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle by Doreen Virtue and um, the Inner Child Cards by um, Oz Aisha Lerner um, and Mark Lerner. So I welcome you today. I hope uh, this May been Gratitude Weekend has been wonderful and sharing with your families. Thank you so much for all of your such wonderfully nice, warm, loving comments on my first Maven table with my daughter. She was so excited to do this. Um, she's been dying to, to get in on the video, so I thought that this was just a great um, thing to share with her. So I'm glad you all of you have, have enjoyed it as well. Um, this week, okay, a lot of things. Um, uh, I've read, uh, seen some of the others, and we're kind of all falling into the same spirit for this week coming up to the full moon. Uh, now is the time um, that we're going to have to make that hard decision to let something go. Really, the one thing that you've been holding on to has got to go. And uh, I know what that is in my life. Um, Elizabeth confirmed it in her reading to me. And uh, I've seen readings of others that have resonated with me and um, have it come into my my being. Um, so I... I've chosen some cards today. The first card, and on all of these, I had kind of was just playing with the decks, and they they fell out. So this is what I'm uh, I'm going to be using today. Um, but I think it's a time of this week um, by letting this go and letting your fear of letting it go release. Um, there's some like really big things waiting for us. Uh, really. Um, important, wonderful new things, both on the physical plane, on the spiritual plane, new partnership, new associations, new ideas, new creativity, some really wonderful things coming up. Um, it's funny because um, I have was watching, um, I think it was Goddess Divine 813, and I was watching the video of Ascension Pioneers, um, how they give out free readings. And um, I am almost to 50 subscribers. I think there's just a couple. Uh, I think like I'm a 48. And I just, this last week, they've just been coming in, all of these subscribers, new subscribers. So in gratitude, I've decided that for this week, uh, coming up to the full moon, um, I will be giving free readings. Um, so anybody who would like a free reading, you can inbox me and I will get him back in touch with you so that I can, um, so that we can schedule it either by Skype or email. You send me a question and I'll answer it. Um, and I guess it depends on, on how many responses I get, how quickly I can get them all done. But I think I'm going to do that, um, especially because this weekend is a weekend of gratitude and I am in great gratitude. Um, for all of my subscribers and all of you who watch my videos and have participated with me on this journey um, with YouTube and the community. And I have just been received with open arms graciously by everyone. So this is my way of giving back. Um, I, Like I said, I will be doing free readings for one week. Uh, in gratitude and because I felt the need that I need to give back to the community that has given to me. So let's go on to our cards. All right, first card which jumped out into my hands and I just so drawn to this orange color and this green of healing and this center spot. It is the center of you of your being, of your universe, and, the, and everything is pointing to that center. The card means intention. So what we intend, we need to be focused. We need to shine that light on our intentions. 
focus on what it is that we want. We've gone through a healing process. Now it's time to ask for what it is that we want to really have. And that's what I'm going to be doing this week, um, is asking for what I really have, uh, for what I really want to do to progress and move forward. Uh, the next card is from the Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle. And <laughs> the one that jumped out and onto the floor, like literally just right jumped out of the, the box, was goodbye to the old, hello to the new. And the card says, you've finished one part of your life, and now a new and even better part is beginning. So amen to that. I'm ready. I hope you all of you are too. Um, sometimes they say the fear of success is greater than the fear of failure. But uh, we've got to get over that too. It's time for success. It's time for good things to come in. If you'll see, she's got her her feet in this beautiful lotus flower. And if you remember my meditation to Mother Earth, we were using our, our lotus flowers to provide energy for us. And it's such a lovely, lovely card, uh, healing in these beautiful gown that she has on of blue and white um, with her feet grounded into Mother Earth. So now is this is the time you make your intention while grounding yourself into Mother Earth, releasing that which no longer serves, and welcoming the new and allowing it to come in. Uh, I think it was Conscious Dreamer 1, and she used her inner child cards this week. So I just I just love these cards, and I, I think I'm going to be go back to using them more often. I have used them for many, many years, and I truly love them. And here is the for the end of the week, what we can expect, two of hearts. We've got the two dolphins with this spectacular rainbow joining the two, the merman and the mer lady, the merman, the mermaid. And um, the hearts is the, um, the suite of cups. So here, of course, we're dealing with our emotions. And this beautiful uh, sky, it looks like um, the sun is perhaps... Uh, just uh, rising out to to give blessings to this beautiful union, and we have um, the the waves uh, the waves around the rocks here, just in a beautiful swirling together of joining of energies. So the two of hearts. I'll read you a little bit of what it says. It says, from the place of divine union that we encounter balance and integrity. Two in any suit attracts the potential to regulate duality. You may be sharing your heart with another at this time, one whom you feel to be a beloved mate. The spiritual partner could be an actual lover, friend, or a higher awakening. As you meditate on the deeper meaning, remember that your own heart can be a rainbow bridge of living color and light linking you to the source of the divine child within and helping you heal old wounds in the heart of a loved one. So I was looking at a few things uh, yesterday and it was saying, and something that came to me in a reading uh, that I did was that what is in others is reflected and that's what's in you. So this card also could be that reflection of the love you see in others reflecting your own love for yourself, your own healing, your own uh, bridge to your own soul. So I think that this week culminating the full moon, um, we are getting there. We're getting to that point. We've we're working on this healing with Mother Earth, and she is responding by being gracious and giving us gifts. And those gifts are the healing of our hearts, the, um, the unity of feeling unity with Mother Earth, unity within ourselves, unity within our relationships. Um, setting, so set your intentions. Uh, allow them to be focused on what it is your true heart desires. And give um, get rid of those things that no longer serve. If there's things in your house, if you're cluttered, declutter. Clean your house. Do a, do a fall cleaning. Just like a spring cleaning, do a fall cleaning. Um, that's actually what I was doing between yesterday and today. And then do your own cleansing. 
take an Epsom salt bath, ground yourself in Mother Earth, and be ready to receive all of the gifts she has for you. So I wish you many blessings this week. Um, again, you can contact me any way you want for the free reading. And I wish you love and light. Namaste.